the leaves right now are super insane. So at Street League the other week, I talked to a ton of pros, one of them being Lucas Rabello. If you don't know who Lucas Rabello is, he kind of burst on the scene in like the last year. He's got some tricks that I don't think anybody else can do, including front 360 to front no slide. I'm probably saying that wrong, but basically front three into a front nose. I'm not sure anybody else has done it. Leave it in the comments below if you've seen somebody else do this trick. But the point is that this guy has insane front side 360s, and so I was able to catch up with him and ask him what his secret is to learning front 360s, and this is what he had to say. I have a hard time with front threes. All right. I always like lose my balance, and you're like, you got them. You can do like all sorts of variations with them. Uh huh. So what would be your secret to getting the full rotation on a front Dude, three? Dude, it's like, so many people ask about it, but like, I feel like if you have the focus of just, just on the front 180, normally people think about just, I need to like speed front, like 100% like front three. I don't know how to explain that. My English sucks, right? Let's say like, people normally think too much front three. Okay. I feel like you think about just the front 180. Okay. After you do like perfect front 180, you just like turn your shoulder fast. Okay. And it's gonna be like the secret for sure. Okay. So just do a front 180, but the faster. The front 180, like do like the highest you can, and just like turn faster. Okay. So just. I, I like to use my toe. Uh huh. So do I. Do you? How do you? Can you show me your yeah, foot yeah. position? I do like this. Okay. I, that's my sense right here. So I use my toe. So you kind of like turn your toe that way to yeah, like, like grab that. the nose? Yeah, so like when I do ollie, I do like this. You know, like- Oh, like, you so kind of like wrap it? Yes, so I just flick a little bit. Oh, interesting. Cool, right. thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Okay. Good job. Thank you. Hey, good job, man. I like how simple he made that. Like, just think of it as a really high front 180, but just spin faster. Sounds easy, but today we're gonna put it to the test along with his foot position, getting that back foot kind of in the back heel pocket and then that front foot below the bolts and kind of pointed so that you can slide up and wrap it. So that's, that's the goal for today is to see if we can land one of these on flat and then maybe try and get it over the hip. If that goes well, maybe we'll try it somewhere else at the skate park. But first thing I'm gonna do is try this on the trampoline before we go to the skate park. I've just been doing this lately, testing out tricks to try and get a feel on the trampoline. So I'm not sure if it will work with this trick because the board is too light, but I thought it's worth a shot. Let's try it. That didn't go well. Hopefully it goes better on a real skateboard because I just think this thing is too light. So my feet like won't stick to it the way that I want it to. So let's go to the skate park, get warmed up. See if we can make this happen.
All right guys, well oddly enough, I warmed up with some flat ground. I feel like I haven't skated just flat ground in like the longest time, but good to see I can still do some tricks on flat. Honestly, I did better than I thought I was going to, so hyped on that. I really want to get that 5-0 across the ledge, but got smoked a couple times. Got a little smack on the elbow and the knee. Decided I should save it for another session. But here we are, the moment of truth. Time to test out Lucas Rebello's secret to frontside 360s. I hope it works. I'm going to start out on flat, see if I can get any and then depending on how that goes I'm gonna move over to like this fake not hip thing you can see right behind me if that goes really well we'll keep it moving to the real hip maybe to the bump maybe to the step up I don't know I doubt it I think this is gonna be a little bit of a struggle I'm gonna be hyped if I can get any on the fake hip but I just gotta think proper front 180 spin faster and wrap that front foot hopefully it works out let's give it a shot Well, I'm hyped on the front threes that I was able to get over that fake little hip. I feel like it's a good starting place. Like I'll be able to work with some of those, at least like taking it to the bigger hip at, at some point. I think the focusing on uh, doing a really good front 180 helped me a lot because when you do, when you focus on doing a really good front 180, it helps the board stick to your feet really nicely. And so that part of it like really did help me. However, I still don't feel like I'm getting my shoulder rotation like around all the way. Like something's wrong with it. It's like my shoulders and my feet are just disconnected connected individually I feel like they both can do their job but just not together if that makes sense initially I was trying to do like a full front three like trying to like spin the rotation past like 270 before ever touching the ground and yeah I was just getting lost in the air my feet would not stick to the board so I kind of resorted to like cheating it and I'm thinking if I just practice the cheater way where you just kind of like pop and then pivot I'm hoping this will help open up my shoulders and at least get the the shoulder rotation going and then once i can do those consistently start to incorporate more of like an ollie into it and get a little bit more height every time i go into one of these things i'm like oh man by the end of this i'm gonna be like front three and like lucas ribello like i'm like picturing it in my head and obviously it doesn't turn out that way but at least i made some progress on it like i am proud of that obviously these these kind of things don't like change overnight but for now i'll just take the progress and be happy with that but i hope you guys are enjoying these videos talking to the pros honestly i think they're the best videos that i make i don't see anybody else like really on the internet doing anything quite like this and I, i'm really hyped on them I, I hope you guys like them and i just love learning skateboarding like i just love progressing and learning directly from the pros is kind of like a dream come true so shout out to lucas for taking the time he gave one of the best explanations of any of the pros that i talked to so lucas if you're watching this thank you so much much muito obrigado muito obrigado something like that thank you very much for taking the time thank you guys for watching make every single day a friday follow your passion and see where it takes you i'll see you guys in the next video peace Ooh.